This week on Scam School, we learned the secrets of pedals around the rose. You mind giving me some privacy? This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy and Gamefly. Go to www.gamefly.com slash scam school for your free trial membership. Welcome to the show that can never decide between OxyContin or OxyClean. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are going to learn a puzzle that allegedly befuddled the brains of no less than Bill Gates himself. We're going to play Pedals Around the Rose. Awesome, back on the show, it's Roger Chang of Texilla hey. Fame. How are you doing, buddy? Good. Awesome, we also have Jen and Andrew. Now, here's the thing. I have for you something very special. When I first read about this, I'm convinced this is total urban legend, but the story goes, we're gonna play a little game, and the story goes that this game absolutely infuriated Bill Gates, because he could not figure it out, because he had a certain type of analytic mind, whereas other colleagues of his were able to figure it out. So I'm gonna set you guys up with the same challenge. The name of the game is Petals Around the Rose, and the name is important. I can only tell you a couple of things about it. First of all, the name of the game is Petals Around the Rose, the name's important. Second of all, the answer will always be an even number or zero. And thirdly, I could tell you the result of any roll of the dice. Now, if you're able to figure out how the results are made, then you graduate and you become a member of the secret society. The potentate of the rose is what they call it. But you must not give the answer to anyone else, and you must figure it out on your own. So with that in mind, are you guys ready to try to figure it out? Sure. I can see, I can see the simmering <laughs> frustration already. So like, for example, right now, I'm gonna roll the dice, and in this case, the answer is eight. Now in this case, the answer is two. And I'll be happy to give you the answer of any of them, and I'll tell you whether or not you're right or wrong. And you guys can roll the dice as often as you want, and between you guys, feel free to figure out how you think it's done. Talk it out. If I, if I roll it, you'll give me an answer. I will always tell you the outcome of any roll that you do. So that one right there, the answer is four. <laughs> uh, just taking the middle number. Here's a hint. Keep rolling so you can gather data. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Oh, the answer here is two. The answer here is eight. The answer here, the answer here is four. By now you have to have heard of Gamefly. They're the largest online video game rental service and they offer you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles all across consoles and handhelds. They've got plans starting at $15.95 a month and Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as they like. There's no late fees, no due dates, shipping's always free. Best part is once you're done playing a game, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. And if you really dig the game you're playing, just click keep it on the Gamefly website. The game is yours. You're an owner at a discounted price. They'll even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Most importantly, Scam School fans get a 15-day free trial when they head on over to Gamefly.com slash Scam School. Make sure to use that particular website so we get credit for the sale. So, uh, five dice. And obviously you didn't count them all. Or add them up. So... Oh, that's interesting, because you're paying attention to how fast I give yes. an answer, and whether or not I have the math skills mm. for it. Very clever. Yes, and I know your math skills. <laughs> <laughs> I know you ain't that bright, Brushwood. The answer, does anyone have a guess? Zero. The answer is zero. Ooh. How'd you know that? I assume that he basically took the number below the the lowest even rolled number. So that's the current theory. The 
the answer is six. Anyone have a guess on this one? Four. The answer is four. You keep getting them right, why? Because I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses? What's that? Zero. The answer is zero. <laughs> Jackie? Four. The answer is four. I think we have our first potentate of the rose right there in the audience. How many here, Jackie? You weren't prepared for this scenario. The answer is six. Ah, oh, I thought you had it. I thought you didn't see me. You got like three in a row. No. Oh. Wait, Roger, you have a, you have a, you have a guess? Four. The answer is four. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute, does Roger really think he has it? I don't know, well, let's see. All right, Roger. What's your guess? Four? No, not a four, it's eight. The answer is eight. <laughs> Roger, are you, you full on potentating now? What's up? On. <laughs> What's the answer? Eight. Oh yeah. no, eight, uh, 10. The answer is 10. Oh man, now you're getting pissed, aren't you? <laughs> this is awesome. God, that's annoying. I know. <laughs> Two? This? Yeah, the answer right. is two. Right. <laughs> Roger's got it. He's in the club. You did it, Batman. Hells yeah. <laughs> All right. Moral dilemma time. All right. I'm going to take him. I'm going to break the fourth wall and I want to talk directly to the camera because here's the thing the folks at home have to make a moral decision. We live in an internet age where anyone could Google anything and get the answer to whatever. And the fact is, even if I didn't say the answer on this podcast, somebody would just run out and put it, find it on Google or Wikipedia. So we're gonna have a moral dilemma right now. And I'm talking to you at home. You can choose right now to pause this video and keep watching it and go back and you can try to figure it out yourself. And if you do, then you will become a potentate of the rose and you will be legit. Or you could be a faker, a cheat, a liar, a lazy shiftless nimrod. And the one thing you don't get to do is say, oh, I could have figured it out. I was gonna, I was, I, I was almost there. I pretty much figured it out. No, this man <laughs> is a national hero. He, say, he defeated the Joker with his Batman skills, all right? <laughs> you are nothing if you go on to the third segment without figuring it out on your own. So we're gonna go to sponsor and then we're gonna find out the answer to Petals Around the Rose. Yes, yes, yes. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99.9% .9 uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. But I know what you're asking. How can GoDaddy make me famous? And the answer is simple. Why don't you jump into our Domain Smack contest? Domains are so ridiculously cheap through GoDaddy.com that you can register them just to mock your friends. Think of an insulting, demeaning domain and register it and point it to your friend's website. You could get political. You could get activist. It does doesn't matter. Just think of an insulting domain and register at GoDaddy.com with promo code SCAM10 at checkout. And not only will you get the domain for about eight bucks, they will forward it anywhere you want absolutely free. Once you've registered your domain smack, write me directly at Brian at Revision 3. If I like it, we'll feature it right here on the show. Not only are you getting cheap domains, not only are you getting to insult your friends, but you're getting famous too. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. All right, at this point, the only people watching this are people who either honestly figured it out on their own, like you, Roger, Batman, and for those people, I salute them because they are smarter than I was. Then there are liars and cheaters and lazy, shiftless nimrods who just kept saying, just give me the answer. Student, screw this stupid puzzle, I hate you. And uh, regardless, we're gonna, if you think you know it, then you're gonna find out if you're right. Roger, tell me, tell me how you figured out this one. Well, after, um... <laughs> agonizing minutes of writing down all the dice rolls, I've, I realized this absolutely means nothing. 
All right, so the key for me is going back to what you said. Uh, pedals around the rose. Yep, and the name is important. Name is important. Uh, there can be, it's the, the, and the answer is either zero or even numbers. That's correct. So, uh, after looking at it, I realized it's staring in <laughs> the face. What does a rose look like generally? It has petals, right? And you have a nucleus in the middle. What on there kind of resembles like a flower petal or a rose petal? Five. Uh-huh. Now, what goes around the middle of it? The... What, was or, the uh -huh. what was the name of the game? And then what do you do when you take all the... Is that, so that eight? That I mean, is 12. that 12? That's 12. That's 12. Oh. And so then... All right, and now in this... Four. Four. No, because you still have a deflowered flowered. <laughs> <laughs> you have, huh? So this is four. What else here kind of resembles the same thing with something in the middle? Three. Uh huh. And then you have two and two. So you have eight. That's right. Yeah. Two and two is eight. That's that's what it all boils down to. Is there's only three. None of these, like all the even numbers, the six, the four, and the two all have no flower in the middle. The one has a flower in the middle, but no petals. The three has a flower in the middle, but two petals. And the five has a flower in the middle with four petals. So all you have to do is count the petals around the rose. I was so close. I knew I was looking at the fives, and I was like, it has no. to be some. That's the only one that has something around it. I'll tell you but what. But I couldn't figure out the. You guys stuck it out, though. That was awesome. All right, so I want to hear about, from everyone at home, I'm sure you're going to get all emails of like, I swear I never checked. I totally figured it out. It was so easy. Well, screw you guys. All right? Because I'm not going to lie. I totally bailed. I ended up looking up the Wikipedia article on this one to find it out. But you guys were awesome. Let's hear it for Batman, Potentate of the Rose. Now, if you made it this far, I hope it's because you stuck it out and actually solved the riddle of the petals around the rose. But if you're a failure, a washout, a person who doesn't even deserve to breathe like me, that's okay, that's how I got here too. But remember to keep the secret a secret. Don't go around spoiling it for everyone. If you actually pull this off at a party, you will get everyone involved and make them work for the answer. Just because you cheated doesn't mean you have to let everyone else cheat as well. Now, I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them at the boards at scamschool.tv, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, I answer your questions live with every at reply you write me, so hit me up at twitter.com slash wood, or follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool. Next week, very important, we're going to be learning to remember what it was we're doing next week. <laughs>